Hi, it's Jax. Before you watch this video, which I've already done, been through everything, I just wanted to point out that it was my first time doing it. So, as you're watching this, it is filled with information for somebody that is like going to be doing their first shot, because this is my first shot experience, is the best way to look at this. I am not a doctor, and please don't think that my methods are the methods to go with, but it definitely works, so hey. All right, thanks. So, hi, I'm Jax, and today I am finally going to be starting testosterone. I have my fur ladies here with me for support. Um, so, yeah, haven't, haven't done any injections yet. Um, I've got this chaotic mess of things over here. Let me kind of run through and show you just what they gave me here. First off, I had a doctor's appointment. I went in. They talked to me about, you know, my transition and how comfortable I am identifying as a male, yada, yada, yada. That makes sense. Then they drew some blood, then they drew some more blood, and then a week and a half later, finally got my prescription for testosterone. So, came in a box like this, and then here's the teeny tiny vial. You can't really see what it says on there. Uh, there's 200 milligrams in here. Then along with that, they gave me two needles. One of them, this pink one here, is for actually taking out the testosterone from the vial. They said because it's so thick and oily, you're going to need a bigger needle for that. Then once it's into the actual, you know, part, you're going to take that, replace it with this smaller needle that's actually going to be going inside of you. Of course, along with the things I picked up, I also got some alcohol and some cotton balls. Yeah! Cotton got more balls than I do right now. Just kidding, this testosterone doesn't give you balls. Okay, blue balls maybe. Okay, so just attempted doing this on my own. This was a cap, totally didn't know that. Obviously, should have figured that one out. First thing you're gonna wanna do is alcohol the top of this guy here because you're most likely going to be using your vials multiple times. Okay, so just take the cap off of this needle, which is really thick. That's not the one going into you. This is going into here. Oh, so first also, I saw that you're going to want to draw out. And the only needle I, I experience I have is working with dogs and giving them shots, and that does help, is adding air into the bottle. Okay, so then I'm going to go like that, push the air in, okay, and now when I release, it's going to take it because you had that pressure in there. Okay, so I'm going to a half. Okay, now of course you're going to want to take just a tiny bit more than a half, just for that reason exactly. Okay, disclaimer, not a doctor, okay? Just a regular old trans guy waiting to transition. Okay. So, now there's some air in here. That's what that is, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip it up, click on it a few times. That'll help the air bubbles go up. I'm going to take this file here. I'm gonna Put it upside down like that. I'm pushing the rest of the air back up in there. Okay. I'm gonna tap it a couple more times. Whoops. Upside down, I mean. Tapping it up. A couple more times upside down because you want the air obviously to go up. Okay. Air is up. Putting a little bit more in there. Okay. Now, because I wanted a half. I'm gonna have to measle around with this a little bit more here. Bring it down to the bottom there. You can see where that groove is. Okay, okay I'm gonna take out a lot more that time. Man, this is so messy. All right. By messy, I mean me trying to do this. <laughs> tap, tap, ma fao. Tap, tap, tippity, tap, tap. Okay, couple more taps. Couple more taps. I see some air bubbles in there. You don't want no air bubbles. 
That'll happen from time to time. Okay. There we go. There we go. They're leaving the station. Thank God. Get out of here, you air bubble. Okay. Once again, putting it back in here. Because I don't want to lose any when I'm pushing it out, you know? Uh, my gosh. There. All right. Air bubbles. Goodbye. Going to point five, which is right there. Okay. Perfect. So, yep, point five milliliters right there. Hashtag no air bubbles. All right. Now you're going to want to put this back on here. Before you take it off, this unscrews just like that. Okay. So now that I'm disposing in my red box they gave me. Cool. Now we're going to open up this green one here. Screw this guy on here. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Alright, so. Let's uh, make sure everything's ready here. Couple notes before we move forward. I called the pharmacist and I kind of asked, you know, like I've never done this before and I'm nervous because the needle you gave me is an inch and a half. Like, am I putting that whole thing inside of me, you know, my butt? And she said, yes. Um, there's not, she said there's not really a spot, you know, per se where you can go. You're not gonna hit any blood vessels in that area. She said, you just kind of like, bunch it, you know, pinch it together so you've got that fatty. Obviously, like, I'm going to be doing it right here. Because she said, you know, you don't, you want to do it where you can obviously do it at a 90 degree angle and then have enough fat on top of it. So, yep. Okay, so, not to make this weird or anything, going to be alcoholing the area I'm doing. Okay. Next, taking that needle again. And this is the last time you're going to want to make sure the air bubbles are out by just pushing up on it just a little bit, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit until you see that ointment come out. Then you know you're golden because the first thing that should have come out would have been any final air bubbles. Whew. All right. Guess we're doing this then here. 90 degree angle. My boxers are already kind of fattening it up. Okay, well that looks 90 degrees. Ooh, no, okay, now I'm freaking out. Hold on. Just a little nervous. Uh, yeah. As soon as that needle touched my skin, I was kind of like, oh yeah, okay, that's right, this is a needle that's gonna be going inside of me. I don't think I can blindfoldly do it, which is probably why you should have somebody else helping you, but, you know, I don't right now, so. And I can't, I'm not waiting any longer. I've waited long enough for this, I don't fucking care, so. Bleep. Um. Yeah. Here goes nothing, question mark? Oh, okay. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> oh, shit. What am I gonna do? Hey, you sneaky little air bubble. Get the fuck out of there. Um, I'm gonna try it on this side. I'm just gonna practice a little bit. Get my my butt used to being poked. Ha! Not like that. Oh my god. This is gonna get so intense. Oh god. Alright. I might have to take my fucking shirt. Yeah, I don't know if this is anybody else's experience, but this is mine. So I'm gonna try it on this side, because I am right-handed. Oh my god. It's like the perfect... Whew. Ow! I 
just can't fucking do it. I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need some. Oh, I have alcohol in my system now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I brought in Michaela to come help with this because I definitely couldn't do it alone. Okay, so it doesn't matter what side you do it on. Okay. So, probably like right there, right? Alright. Maybe you just close my eyes and I don't watch you do this. Holy shit! Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. But as soon as you went in, I couldn't feel it anymore. Yeah? Good. I'm just rubbing it in now. Rubbing it all in. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks. No problem. That was so much easier than trying to do both. So, my friend Michaela is heading out of here, and everything is taken care of as far as my needles have gone in this complimentary red box that I got from Walgreens when I picked up my prescription. Um, so yeah, that totally worked. Had somebody else do it, definitely recommend that. Much easier, unless you're used to giving yourself injections. And especially probably for the first time, I would have somebody else do it. I just closed my eyes and it was, it was over. Like, it wasn't bad. I would, I'm not afraid of doing it again. How does that sound? Um, and you couldn't feel the needle going into you. Like once it was initially in, then it was just in. Then I rubbed it for a good while just to kind of make sure that everything was, you know, working itself through what's going on. Huh. Um, yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Look forward to doing my next video and I will talk to you soon. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you.